All right, so just a quick overview of three of the heavy duty flipper knives that I've acquired. Uh, the first one is this line still, I guess you call it SR11 or SR2. Um, I really like the, the size of the knife, um, the shape, the action's good. I like, kind of like this little locking mechanism that keeps you from opening the frame lock. I mean, the knife's made very well. I did have to tighten this up a couple times, but it stayed after that. Um, you see, I've used the knife quite a bit. Now, one thing I didn't like, very, very slippery knife. Uh, maybe that's too expected with these aluminum frame locks, but man, I had to put these little studs in there just to keep to work it all onto the thing. So, um, overall, okay knife. I like the, the blade, the edge, all that. Um, decent knife. Uh, the next one, SOG XR seal flipper really love this knife it's been my EDC for a year or two um, the handle really like the contour of the handle the grip is great uh, the jimping all the way out here uh, I mean this knife just fits me great I like the the persuader or whatever you call this thing back here it's great for you know prying stuff or <clears throat> using it as a hammer see, I've used this knife extensively too I don't care for these coated blades I mean as you can see I've worn off the edge because uh, I do use it quite a bit but the action uh, I really really like these what do you call them access locks or bolt locks or whatever but uh, one thing is I have had some rusting with this one but I doesn't bother me um, I mean I wore it out into the ocean in my um, shorts when I was at the beach right so kind of expected I mean I use my knives I'm, I'm not worried about them having a little bit of damage but I think some people did point out that that's kind of an issue is they do rust on the inside this one's also American made I'm not sure about that one but uh, overall really really unhappy with this knife and then there is this thing um, just picked this up and I knew it was a big knife when I was getting it but had no idea that it was going to be this massive and I, I mean honestly it doesn't I saw the videos pictures on it it just doesn't do it justice how big it really is how thick and heavy duty um, this is right up my alley I really like the handle now I did get the, the this is like the entry level one uh, I think you could get it for like 60 bucks on Amazon but these are both what I don't know I think these are around 175 200 dollars now and this is a same price range I think if I recall so but they do make one with a titanium handle um, you know if I was going to pick just one and get it I may go with that one um, but really I like the grip of this G10 and um, yeah just really really <laughs> this knife so far action's great blades heavy duty thick um, the edge seems good uh, I'm not a biggest fan of the liner locks I do prefer you know this axis or bolt or whatever you call it but it's what it comes in I was looking for an even bigger knife than this one um, it really it's not that much heavier than this this is a really life, light knife but I think it's almost too light personally this one I really like the weight but honestly it's not that much different to step up to this much larger blade heavier duty blade knife um, also like um, the the one cliff blade I guess you call this with the with the extreme point kind of prefer that to the contour of the SOG so we'll see how it works out as I, as I carry it for a while and I'll let you know but um, really of the three knives you know depending on what you're looking at this is probably the best all around that most people are going to like um, I just can't get over how slippery this knife is and uh, really I think for me this is going to be my knife of choice but uh, it, it maybe is too large even though it's not much heavier maybe just too big for a lot of people but uh, for like 60 bucks you know why not if you want to get the, the higher grade one you can spend a couple hundred bucks so anyways I'll keep you posted take care